Hi Standard 5 Okay, so for today's lesson You are going to use um, Big and small technique As well as perspective technique At the same time For today's artwork And you are also going to use um, Shape elements Lines element Textures Colors Space and also value as well Okay, I want you to create um, creative textures as well as um, decorative textures and lines on your on the objects that we are going to draw today okay so today we are going to draw a scenery of a few hot air balloons in the sky and just imagine that you are looking at the hot air balloons in the sky and the one that is right above you should be bigger right and the hot air balloons that are far from you should be smaller in sizes than those in front okay and as for the background the sky shouldn't be just blue later you can create um, creative colors and also you can include creative textures and also lines on at your sky it doesn't have to be just blue with clouds only okay try to be as creative as possible and you can also create a fantasy sky and fantasy background all right whatever you have in mind try to put it in your drawing and be creative don't be afraid to try something new okay let's try i'm going to create a line over here later so that my artwork can be smaller when I'm drawing so today we are going to use um, portrait layout instead of using landscape layout because we want to raise the um, balloon as high up as possible okay so let's start with you can start with this part over here first the foreground remember foreground is the part that is in front of you and the middle ground is in the middle and the last one is the background later okay the background should be hidden from the by the foreground and also the the middle ground all right let's start with your um, hot air balloon i'm going to draw one health hot air balloon over here so this should be the biggest hot air balloon then the rest of them later yeah. there are many shapes actually I'm going to use this um, the shape that we always see and when you are putting this line make sure it as uh, make it as curved as you can so that it look more 3d and you can add more details to it later then after that, um, strings or ropes to attach the hot air balloon's body to the basket. Okay, so let's say this is the basket carrying the people, and then You need to make sure that you can look the, at the bottom of the basket because you are looking upward, right? So make sure you can um, try to create this um, the lines where you can look at the bottom of the basket, and then after that, um, the details you can put it later or now, whenever you want to. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to draw. Next one is the next hot air balloon so this one should be bigger a bit bigger than the last one later then your rope or your line okay then the last one i'm going to put the last one over here it's a little bit further so it should be smaller then okay. 
you can do the details now or you can do it later that's up to you okay there you go and over here you can put your own lines of textures later on for example maybe uh, let me make this as symmetrical as possible first okay so your lines you can put um decorate it however you want to okay I'm going to put some zigzag lines later. Something like this. And same goes to the top. Okay, same goes to this too. Right now we are going to draw this part over here. So I think I'm just going to draw a few small mountains and hills and also maybe over here one more then maybe higher mountains and hill and there is a, you can see the sunset a bit over here right and if you want to then you can put a house on the hill a house on the hill or trees on the hills right so since this, um, I'm just going to put this as a scenery during the, in the evening and later on I'm going to just color this house on a hill by using um, black crayon, okay? And for the background, try to be as creative as possible. You can create textures on the background or you can create, um, what do you call it? Um, lines shapes okay that's up to you okay standard five um if you see over here um there are a few human figures that i just draw by using my the black crayon because this is an um, evening scene so you can't really re really see the human you just maybe you can see the um the shadow or just their figures only so you can just use the black crayon and just draw human figures over here and if you want to then you can add some more um, objects on top of the hills maybe you want to put some trees or more houses okay yeah. what else do you have in mind that's um, you can try to put it and you can ask me if you have any question then of, um, other than that I also um, try to draw some birds flying on the in the sky okay so this one over here I try to use light blue and I transition and blend the color into darker blue here and if you notice that this on the hills and the mountains also I use light yellow and blend it with the orange color to show that they are still lights reflected on the mountain same goes to the basket, um, the hot air balloons basket. Okay, you can put some yellow over here to show that there are still lights reflected on it. Okay, we can try now. 